Ah, this is the life. Man, I forget how nice and peaceful it was without an annoying piff squeak of a grandson every now and then. I should do this more often. Just me, my spaceship, and this random cardboard box that no one is totally hiding in. Yep, just an empty cardboard box. Uh, hey, Grandpa Rick? Yeah, Rose Kid, shoot it! Ah, uh, wait, Rick, it's me! Uh, how do you know my name? Who sent you? Rick, it's me, Morty! Stop! Huh? Morty? You solid snaked me! I, 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 I never get solid snaked. I can't believe it. What are you doing here? You told me we had to run away for some reason. Yeah, and I also said, stay where you were. I was going to come and get you, idiot. Okay, whatever. C can you just turn me back, okay? I don't like being a hammer. Why am I a hammer anyways? Because, Morty, I always thought you were a tool. A useless one at that. You don't have to be so mean about it. Now, come on. Just, just turn me back, please. Later, Morty. I'm still upset about the solid snake jump scare. You trying to give your grandpa a heart attack? Yeah, well, maybe I am. What are we doing, Rick, huh? What did you do this time? Were we going to run away from our dimension again? Will we have to start new lives? Relax, Morty. We just have to lay low for a bit. Look, we're in this new dimension. So we're going to chill out on this nice looking, peaceful island where nothing bad happens. Huh? That's not one of ours. Intruder, we got here first. We're invading this planet. Yeah! And so we crash landed here. Everything would have been fine if Morty here didn't destroy my portal gun. What was I supposed to do, Rick? I'm a hammer. M my whole head weighs more than my body. Th this is all your fault. Ugh, always blaming others, never taking responsibility for yourself. So anyways, uh, you think you can help us? Excuse you. So let me get this straight. You turned your grandson into a hammer, crash landed onto this island, broke your portal device that can take you home, and now you want to use this location for your lab experiments? Yeah, what part didn't you get? Um, I think I'll pass. I've got a lot of things on my mind lately. Pfft, yeah, no kidding. Those tattoos just scream, pay attention to me. Let me guess, daddy issues? Your mom's dead? Uh, a loved one died. A loved one died, didn't they? Hey, what is your problem? You can forget using this place for your inventions now. She didn't say no. I got it on the nose, didn't I? Rick, be, be nice. Listen, miss. You can <sighs> call me Jules. <laughs> Rick, look, I know my grandpa may be the most insensitive, ungrateful, ru rude, rude. Yeah, Morty, she gets the point. But I'm sure there's some way we can repay you. Please, I just want to go back home. Sorry, but no. Oh, so are you single? Morty! I... I don't want to talk about it. Jesus, Morty, you insensitive swine! Much apologies, Crystal, or whatever useless gem you were named. We'll take our business somewhere else. Good. I hope we never run into each other. Yeah, 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 whatever. Come on, Morty. Maybe we can try getting back into that mothership again. Ooh, you think we can let out that one guy that looks like the Mandalorian? Wait! You know... Where the Mandalorian is? Isn't he a TV show? Shut up, Morty. Yes, we uh, we know of this Mandalorian. And yes, we know where he <coughs> is. Just, who are you, old man? Just an inventor who's explored multiple realities and have seen just about everything there is to see. But yes, let's strike a deal, shall- Oh my god, it's Snowball! Hey, who's this funny looking man? Wow, he can talk just like Snowball too. This island may be even more wacky than our place, Rick. Hey, who are you? And who created your function of talking? Why, Jules did. She's the greatest inventor ever. Uh-huh. Anyways, mister, I was overhearing how rude you were to Jules. Oh, God. A white knight. Simp. Ooh, I always wanted to be a knight. But I also wanted to know what you were doing here. Why were you running away from your reality? Ah, I thought you'd never ask. Flashback. So there I was, fighting against armies of Ricks in the Citadel of Ricks. Citadel of Ricks? What is that? Too long to explain. Watch my origin story for that. Pretty much, I was being framed for killing other Ricks. And so, you started killing other Ricks. Duh. Ugh. Hello? 
You're each Rick. Uh, Rick? What's going on? I hear shooting and screaming. Kill the Rick. He must pay for his crimes. What's your point? Rick, are you, are you fighting with yourself again? It doesn't matter, Morty. Uh, but well, what does matter is we need to get you out of here for a bit. Out of where? Out of this dimension. I'll explain everything when I go pick you up. Rick, is everything going to be okay? I'm scared. Everything will be okay. I won't let anything bad happen to you. Grandpa's gotta go now. Well, well, well. If it isn't Rick. Evil Hammer Morty. Ugh, I should have known you were behind this. That's right. I was the one that's been plotting the killings of all the Ricks across the dimensions. Why? What did Rick do? And why me specifically? Because Rick, you're the Rickest Rick of them all. And in you just defending yourself, you helped me kill more Ricks. Ha 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 ha! I hate being tricked to kill. Too bad. I'll be giving you 24 hours to flee. Run away from the Citadel of Ricks. After that though, I'll be sending out all of the Ricks to come after you. You're John Wicking me? Gah, I hate when people do that. All right, punk, you're on. I'm gonna hide in a place you'll never find me. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna come after you. You hear me? Instead of talking, you should be running. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, yeah, shut up. You Zoomers are obsessed with that app. Ugh, if there's anything I hate more than Rick's, it's Morty's. And so now I need to repair my ship, invent a new portal gun, and dip. But pretty easy if you ask me. Oh, uh, uh, when did this guy get here? Is he talking about me? Wait, actually after looking at you for a bit, you remind me of my pal Squanchy when he squanched his last squinch. Uh, thank you? Hold on, we're not finished yet. What do you know about the Mandalorian? Ah, uh, what is this, 20 bazillion questions or something? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go find some food around here. Or we can talk later. Bye, Jules. I'll miss you. That man seems very off. Why are you putting up with him? Because he knows something about the Mandalorian. Maybe he knows something about the disappearance of my father, too. Midas. He has been gone for a long time. What about your mom? <sighs> Still no luck. But I'm trying, Meow Souls. It's just getting harder as each day goes by. Well, we have to take it one step at a time. Give that Rick guy some time. Then we'll ask him about where the others may be. Yeah. Just hope everyone's okay. One of the pods was empty. Did they escape? Impossible! It was but a simple man. They must have been taken. Mm. And about the other four? There. Still intact. Good. I have a strong feeling about these four. Oh, and what good would simple puny humans have for us? These four were fighting utilizing energy not common in humans. This one may not even be one anymore. So you plan to harness their abilities? And for what? Yourself? Huh. Do you think of me as that self-centered? No. I plan on researching these four, so all of our Chimera army can possess their abilities. And what are their abilities? These four? No. These two are what I believe to be gods among men. Gods among men? How long will the process take? I can get them up and running as soon as possible. But it was this one. They call attention to our species. This specimen's abilities is far more advanced than our technology. Yes, if it wasn't for the Spire, we would not have found them. <laughs>